always watch out for the Stone Harbor police. They will pull you over for doing 26 and a 25, so be very careful. So hey, good morning everybody, Tyler Deck here. Gonna be a good day of fishing. I am heading out on the Miss Avalon this morning, a party boat down here in Avalon, New Jersey. Hoping uh, to head out front here, do a little wreck fishing or some bottom fishing. We'll see exactly where we head out to. Uh, but right now it is 543 and the boat heads out at eight o'clock. So I'm gonna head down to the A Street Jetty first, see what we can drum up down there. And then we'll head out on the Miss Avalon this morning. It should be a good day of fishing. Let's head out. There is nobody in the parking lot right now. It is me and one other car. So pretty excited about this. Let's head out there. This should be awesome. Try and see if these triggers are still here. Another rod holder? No. Just leave that there. So let's take some of these clams that I pre-cut the other day so that they were ready to go for this morning so I wasn't wasting much time. I just have a kingfish rig. Seem to work better than the top and bottom. Look at that, that looks perfect. I made this rag damp and I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. All right, we got a little bit of messed up line here in a couple spots, but. All right, I think I caught him like right here. I'm actually gonna, yeah, let's just try here for now. All right, trigger fish time. There's something. There's a trigger. There's a trigger fish. Big one. Big one. Ugh. Nice. There are trigger fish here. <laughs> now what do you do? Do you leave or do you stay? <laughs> Oh. All right. Look at that trigger fish. Look at that. Oh, there are fish here. All right. Boy, straightened out my hook. All righty. Well, now the question becomes, do you stay or do you go? For right now, I don't know the answer to that question, so I'm going to give this a few more minutes to see what the plan will be. Ha 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 ha, look at that guy. So after I caught that one trigger fish on the jetty this morning, I thought it was time to go because I was running out of time, but I thought I'd stop and give my bait to these guys real quick before heading out. So just cut them up real small. Okay. They're frozen, so they should stay on there pretty long. Oh, sweet. sweet. But I would even cut them all in half just to make them last okay. a little bit longer. Yep. And right here, like, yeah, the trigger fish. Yeah. Okay. The other day I caught a bunch, but this one, yeah, was pretty cool. nice. So Thanks, man. yeah, yeah, right in there and they're good eating. So. No size limit, no creel limit. So, yeah, good luck, guys. You're welcome. So, definitely pulled one awesome trigger fish off the jetty. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a rush to get to the boat and get a good spot, so we might end up on the side. But, hey, that's fine. We'll get out there and let's head out on the Miss Avalon right now. Let's do it. So when you catch a fish, we like to hear, fish on. That way there, Jack, Trevor, Sam, or myself can assist in bringing that fish over the side. And listen up, gang, ship's rules. When you catch your first fish, we want you to pucker up and give that fish a kiss. Right on the lips, it brings you luck and everybody else here luck on the boat. So we got a little bit of a ride here ahead of us. We've been fishing down off Wallet. We're getting triggers, sea bass, kingfish, a couple flounders, a couple bluefish mixed in there. So sit back, enjoy the ride, leave the driving to me, 
I hope at the end of the day, everybody has fishy lips. So we had about a half hour ride out to where we were fishing, and then we ended up uh, anchoring up over a whole bunch of structure that's out there. Uh, we did move a couple times. These guys are just great. They really do do everything they can to put you on the fish here. Um, I was actually the only person on the boat who brought my own rod, so that kind of tells you uh, who's out there fishing with you, which is fine. It was a great group of people, uh, but it allowed me to get up in the bow of the boat and cast a bucktail. I ended up switching up a couple times, but uh, allowed me to get up to the bow and cast out and jig along for some fluke here. So let's see how I do. There's something. Ooh, this feels pretty decent. Fish are on. Woohoo. Yeah, I think so. Fish are on. You need a net? Negative. Negative. They're all 16, 17 inches, right? Yeah. All right. Well, that's something there. Yeah. On the... Yeah. All right. Good deal. Something's down there. Thanks, man. First one of the day? Yeah. Yeah. On the pink on top. On the pink teaser. Good deal. Like that rig. Ooh, what kind of bucktail is There's some stuff down there. Yeah, one of them. There's something. Something's staying on. A little sea bass. Maybe. There's something. Fish on. Something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's gone. Wait, is he back? I think we're going to find out when we get here. Ah, oh, little tiny sea bass. All right. Little sea bass. Take 10 seconds to get to the bottom here. All right, little sea bass. There's a nice something. Fish on. There's. Another flounder. I think he's probably going to be a little short. What's he spitting up, too? I don't know. What That's is he? <laughs> All right. That's not bad. No good, right? But worth a shot? I think he's a little small. But yeah, worth a shot? Oh. That's all right, man. It's not the end of the world. Boy, it's hot. Apparently it is 95 degrees outside. My car says 99. Apparently it feels like 110. So that was uh, that is a lot hotter here once we get inshore. Fantastic day on the Miss Avalon. I caught a couple fish. The whole boat did great. This is a tough fishery to be in, so if you are down here, they will put you on the fish. Uh, definitely, definitely suggest you guys going out on the Miss Avalon. They are a fantastic group of people. 
Um, so now, gonna go fillet my trigger fish and then head home. This was a fantastic trip. Caught those trigger fish out on the jetty again. Um, no fluke, no keeper fluke, but you know, hey, that, that's how it happens. So heading home and I'll see you guys on the next video. So my original plan was to head home after spending the morning on the boat, but I thought I would take my mom out on the 8th Street jetty that evening and see if we could hook into anything else while I was still down there. All right, so we're back out on the jetty. The birds are back out front here too. It's high tide, well, incoming tide, almost high tide, and it's a full moon, so this is gonna be a lot of water around us here, so it's gonna be some good fishing here. The birds are back. That's pretty cool. Well, you know, you did out, you outfished me on the boat. You outfished me on the boat. Oh, ooh. Uh, uh. There you go. All right. Ooh, something's swimming up towards it. Big blue fish. All right. Where did I put my pliers? <laughs> well, hello there, little buddy. Just want to make for a cool little. It's a decent sized blue fish. Man, they get a little bit bigger. Eh, nah, it's all right. There you go. He's not a monster, but. <laughs> hey, this one's one of those Spanish mackerels. Look at that. Can you take a picture? It's one of the Spanish. <laughs> I gotta say, I still haven't received that picture yet. So mom, if you're watching this, I would love that in a text, please. There you go. <laughs> Double. Another blue fish. Another blue fish. Mom, none of the other fishermen brought their moms tonight, okay? So, in all honesty, Mom did fantastic that night. That was her first time casting a lure out, retrieving it, and catching a fish. I think she caught three bluefish that night and did great. Although she didn't really want to be in the video, which is fine with me. So this is the actual end of the video, and I will see you guys next time.
good B-roll of the moon, maybe. 